everyone, it's Rebecca from Parkway Gardens. Today we're going to be talking about moving your beautiful tropical plants indoors for the winter. The best time to bring them in is probably early September, and you want to get this process started a little bit early, especially if you have a lot of plants to move. Typically any temperature below 10 degrees can do pretty serious harm to a house plant, so you want to make sure that you get them inside before the first cold snap. For some plants that you've left in full sun, it's going to take a little bit longer as you want to move them into a shadier location for a couple of weeks before you bring them into the house. This will get them used to your lower light and it's going to help really prevent a lot of the leaf drop or stress to the plant once you move it inside. Before you bring your plants in, you're going to want to go over it very carefully and look for insects. Look in all of the little places where they branch out, in the little crooks and crevices in there, especially under the leaves. You're checking for aphids, mealybugs, scale, things of that nature that aren't really much of a problem outdoors. But once you bring them inside, these can really multiply and get out of hand really fast. You also want to make sure that you're removing any dead leaves or dead branches, especially that are sitting on top of the soil. This could be a really good breeding ground for fungus, and that's something that you don't want to bring inside, because once you do, it can spread really quickly. A lot of people find that when they pick up their outdoor plants, there's a lot of little potato bugs or centipedes hiding underneath them. So the first thing you'll do is brush all of those off. And if you're worried that the insects have gone into the soil or into your container, you can just easily slide them out of the container and brush off any insects or any soil that you think might be contaminated with bugs. And you can also take off the little top layer of soil as well if it's loose enough, and that will help really get rid of any bugs that might be hiding inside there. If you do find any insects, the best thing you can do would be to spray them with an insecticidal soap, like the Safer's brand. This is one that's good for indoor use as well. So you want to give a really thorough covering to any plants that you think might be infected with bugs. And this will work really well for aphids and for spider mites. If you have something like mealybug or scale, you can use a mix of 50% rubbing alcohol mixed with water, and you can spray that right on all over the plant. Or for specific areas where you notice insects, you can wipe it with that mixture on a cloth, just wipe the insects right off. Once you move your plants indoors, you're really going to want to cut back on water. Typically when plants are outside in the hot summer sun, you're going to be watering a lot more. And once they're indoors, they're in a more temperate, more controlled environment with a lot lower light. So typically they're going to require a lot less water. And making sure that you're watering a fairly minimal amount is going to cut back on any soil-borne pests or diseases as well. typically don't recommend repotting or fertilizing your plants once you bring them in for the fall. Your plant's going to be going through a bit of a dormant period due to lower temperatures and lower light levels even though they're indoors. Once it starts to warm up again in the spring and once they're getting higher light levels, that would be the time to start fertilizing and repot your plant a size larger. That's really going to initiate a lot of new growth in time for the spring. Thanks for watching our video. We hope to see you soon at Parkway Gardens.